place where we can go, where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know that I just wanna be with you, baby? There is a place where we can go. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. Today is Thursday, February 7th, 6th, 7th. I just got ready today. I have interviews in the city. So first I have an interview um, in the Empire State Building, sort of like an in-house council situation. I won't go into much more detail on that, but it's sort of like in-house council. And then after that, at 2 o'clock, I have an interview at the NYU Pilk Fair, which is Public Interest Legal Career. I'm not sure if that's what the whole thing stands for. It's a good career fair they have every year for public interest law. So things like public defenders, anything working for the government, um, DA's offices, pretty much any unpaid internship. That's where you'll find them. So I have an interview there, which I didn't even know about until last week. I signed up for all of these interviews on the NYU website. And then I like, they don't email you, you know, when you are accepted to interviews and I didn't have any idea. And I randomly logged on and found out I had an interview. So I scheduled my in-house counsel sort of thing for the same day. So I didn't have to go down into the city twice. And then I have another interview tomorrow also in the city but a different area so I just saved that one for tomorrow but I'll show you my outfit and then I gotta go because I have to be in the city by like 8 45 so you probably have seen this outfit in the outfit of the week but it's just a suit from J Crew. so this is the schoolboy blazer in navy the ruby pants in navy and then I just have a white button down from H&M on underneath because um, you're supposed to dress very professionally, so this is the most professional I get. <laughs> and then I just have sneakers on because I'm doing a lot of walking and I have my heels in my bag. And I'm actually using this coach backpack, so it's a good thing I didn't sell it yet on Poshmark because I have to use it today because I don't feel like using my huge Jan Sport backpack that I bring to school. But I just realized my water bottle doesn't fit in that bag, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. This is so annoying because I don't want to have this huge backpack with me when I'm going to interviews. It's just annoying, but I also don't want to have to carry things. That's it. So, I'll see you guys in the car. I've gone with my trusty work bag from Teddy Blake. I will have it linked below, but it's freaking huge. It holds everything. I have my heels in there. I have my makeup bag, charger, laptop, resumes planner just random stuff because I'll be in the city all day 
And my first interview is at 9.30. Uh, and then my next interview isn't until 2 o'clock. So I'll be spending a lot of time at like Starbucks or a cafe or just somewhere. Because I do have a YouTube video I could edit. Live 2 I could edit. And I have to respond to a lot of emails. And I have to do law review work. So there is, or there, there is stuff. There are things. There are things that I have to do. So I could use this time wisely. Okay, I just got to the train station. I'm very early. I could take a 752 train, but I don't really want to be there that early. Uh, so I think I'm going to take the 803. So if I take the 803, that's in how many minutes? Like 15 minutes. So I'll get out of my car in like 10. I've got to pay for parking, which I'm going to pay for on the app because it's just so much easier. I haven't really been wearing lip products this week or the past few weeks, actually. I feel like after a while, what am I saying? Am I speaking English? I feel like after a while, liquid lipstick gets like really crusty and I'm, the Kylie lip kits like always like form that white rim around the inside of your lip, like where the liquid lipstick wears away so I'm just not into that really so I've just been doing chapstick I don't really have any good topics to talk about today um, like motivation or time management or organization I mean it's just interview day for me I kind of like had a freak out on Saturday night because I didn't have a job for the summer. I still don't have a job for the summer. So I applied to all of these places on Indeed, which is like a job search website and um, Simplicity. I applied to like so many places I feel like. And then on Monday I heard back from two, which I have interviews with today tomorrow and next week and then yeah so i don't i don't really know i've also applied for some other th things like that one thing that i applied for by mail i haven't heard anything from that but i'm actually going to talk to my professor about that because she is close with the person who runs you know kind of like recruitment for that so i'm just gonna be like is there like a problem with my resume because i've sent it twice i'm like overly qualified for this position so i'm not really sure why i'm not even hearing anything um but i guess i could go now so i guess i will even though i'm very tired and i don't want to move i have to lint roll i'm not bringing the lint roller with me one tip i will say for job interviews is know a lot of things about the company that you're interviewing with whether you're interviewing at like a da's office for example then you should know pretty much the like the entire history of the district attorney of that office so what are his or her new programs or what when did he or she start working and just like know things about them or if you're interviewing at a company like an in-house company know about that company know about the litigation department know about contracts whatever or if you're interviewing at just like I don't know a defense firm know who the partners are when they founded like what are the typical cases that they handle just because a lot of the times they will ask you like oh so what do you know about us and you don't ever want to be like oh um you're a defense law firm like obviously so know some facts but now I have to go so I will see you guys later baby make your worries go away so put your trust in
back in my car. I had my interviews and they went very, very well. Um, you know, you're never really positive when you leave a job interview if you got the job, unless they like told you that you got the job, like for my spring internship. But I'm like 90% sure I got the job in my first interview because the guy was introducing me as the new summer intern and was like, oh, I'll see you in the summer. Just, you know, saying all these things. Like I got the job. He just had to like, okay it with his boss. Hello. Okay, I'll be there in like two minutes. Okay, it's right next to... Yeah. All right, got it. All right, I'm paying, so I'll meet you in the front. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so I feel like I probably got that one based on everything he was saying. And the second interview at the public interest fair was really good. Um, you know, I don't really know about that because they like interview so many people, but it sounded like I got the job because he's like when you work here when you work here so I don't know but we'll see about all of that so I still have another interview tomorrow but right now I'm gonna go meet Lisa for kind of like dinner I guess because it's 345 so I'm gonna meet her because she actually ended up having a doctor's appointment down it by NYU where the fair was so she drove which was so amazing because for me to take an uber back uptown would have been like 35 dollars and you guys know i was not going to take the subway because i'm too confused to take the subway so it would have cost me like 30 dollars to take an uber all the way back uptown to get to grand central so lisa was my shining star today but yeah we're going out to get food i'm starving and I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, you guys. It's now Friday. I just figured I'd continue the vlog because I doubt I really had a lot of footage from yesterday. But when I got home from dinner with Lisa, I literally got in bed. I put away laundry and then I got in bed and watched YouTube. I fell asleep kind of late last night and late I mean like maybe 10 o'clock I'm just lying here waiting to put my clothes on because I really just don't want to guys I've worn a suit every single day this week and I'm so over it um but that's all very minimal makeup today I'm tired I have things I need to do at the house like I need to edit and upload a video because it's Friday and I always upload Monday Friday but I don't have any videos edited, so I'm gonna have to do that when I get home. Okay, this is my outfit. I'm wearing a sweater from J. Crew, blazer from J. Crew. This is a schoolboy blazer. Then I'm wearing my Express columnist um, straight leg pants and H&M boots because it's raining. And my toes were bleeding yesterday, walking around in those heels. Like, the DSW heels are cute, but obviously they're just never going to work for me, so I just need to get new work shoes. But I just don't feel like it. No, do I? No. I need to go to, like, DSW because I really do need a new pair of work shoes. Or even, like, pay less or something. Just, like, something comfortable. Especially if I'm going to be walking around in the city. Like, I do not want to wear uncomfortable shoes. I also wore my sneakers for most of the day yesterday and only changed into my heels for interviews, but despite that, my shoes still hurt my feet. I'm also rocking a ponytail today because I cannot be bothered to do my hair. I'm using my Tory Burch work bag, and that's it. I need to check the traffic uh, because I forgot to do that, and then I'm going to go because I gotta go. <laughs> oh good, only an hour. So I still don't even have to leave. Jesus, I could have woken up so much later. Um, okay, well the traffic isn't bad, so I'm still not even going to leave. I'm gonna go lay back in bed on my phone for probably another 20 minutes. Hey guys, I'm on my way home from the interview now. It was good. Um, honestly, like now that I've gone on, not a lot of interviews, but a decent amount. Uh, I really feel like so much of an interview, first of all, it's your first impression. So, like, unfortunately, I think it has to do, like, with if you look, like, disheveled or not. Like, you need to look put together. And, I don't know, like, your handshake, do you smile, stuff like that. 
and then a lot of the interview is just being able to talk and like hold a conversation and make small talk and listen you know because they'll obviously most of the time tell you about their firm or the company or like whatever they do and then they're going to want to know like what you do or what you want to do and stuff like that so you have to be able to respond to those questions and like not a yes no kind of format like give some detail and just talk so that's it jesse's now calling me i'm driving home so i'll see you guys later I've been home for a while. It's almost one o'clock now, so I've been home for about an hour and a half or so. I just edited today's video and I'm exporting it and I have to upload it, so it should be up in like two hours or so. I think I'm gonna switch my upload time from being in the morning. Usually I used to upload at least at 8 a.m. pretty much every Monday and Friday. But I think I'm going to change it to later in the afternoon because I feel like the later I upload, as long as it's not past like 8 p.m. Eastern time, I get more views. So let me know if you prefer uploading in the morning or the evening or if it doesn't matter at all. Like personally, I don't care as a viewer when someone uploads because if they upload really late, then I'll just watch it the next morning. But I know sometimes things get lost in subscription boxes, so if it's not like on your first scroll through, you're not going to see it. So let me know in the comments if you're still watching. Please let me know. Other than that, I have to do my footnotes today for law review. I think I have like seven or so left to do. I've already downloaded all the sources. So basically what you do for editing a law review article, at least on my law review, is... You go through the footnotes, so let's say your first footnote is like a New York Times article called Why Are Frogs Dying? Like, I don't know if that's a real thing, but fine. So say that's your article. You go and you find that New York Times article, you download it, so you export it as a PDF. Um, I would label it footnote one. I would go through the PDF and highlight what the author's talking about. I upload that to a shared drive between everyone on the law review. I go into an Excel document and write out, you know, where that quote came from in the article, the footnote, the rule that I'm using to edit the footnote. So like Blue Book Rule 18.1 is about internet articles. Though for a New York Times article, I'd probably use like a periodical one. So let's just say it was a blog. I would use 18.1 and then I would just say any changes I made. And then I go in the document and make the changes. So reformat it to be in conformity with the Blue Book Rule 18.1. So that's a brief overview of what Law Review is in a very, very simple form. Except sometimes we have 20 footnotes. My first round of footnotes, I think I had about 65. So it just depends. But I'm going to go now, finish editing, uploading, all that jazz, and I'll update you when I make any changes in my day. Well, it's, oh my god, I just ripped a piece of my hair out because my hair gets stuck in the hinge of my glasses. And... I have to stop doing that because that's why I have this massive bald spot over here I've come to the conclusion. Right here, all of this hair, this is new growth over here. It was bald previously. You can like tell that it was bald over here. So gross. But um, it's been a long time since I've updated you. It's almost like 5, maybe it's like 4.30. I've been in bed, on the computer, hanging. I'm not doing anything tonight. Uh, so this is pretty much it. Peach is here. This is my really fancy and flattering outfit. Um, the sweater is from Nordstrom. Every time I wear it, I get at least like five comments about where it's from. It's from Nordstrom. It'll be linked below. And then these joggers are from Cotton On and they're like really unflattering, but they're really comfortable. And then these socks are from Five Below, which <laughs> make my feet look huge. But they're just like really big socks and they have sequins in them. I am going to do nothing for the rest of the night, probably. I'm gonna like take a shower and everything, but other than that, do nothing. I'm gonna call Jesse, see when he's coming home from work. I am starving, so. I would love for him to pick up dinner, but he's sick. Um, and I put sick in quotes because I think it's like a man cold, but we'll see the severity of it. That's the 411 on my day. Mm -hmm.